Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's uh, video tutorial, uh, we will perform John Keir Terpstra as well as Monferroni correction. This is similar to Kuskal Wallis. So we will use John Keir Terpstra, which is the non-parametric alternative for the ANOVA if your goal is to determine if there's significant difference in the level of your variable and you will compare that to your factor groups. So for our uh, problem, we will determine if there's significant difference in the level of social entrepreneurial intention or SEI among different year level of university students. So we are referring to the first year versus second year, then second year versus third year, versus fourth year. So you will use John Keir Terpstra test if based on the normality test, the data is not normally distributed. So kaya siya non-parametric alternative. So for the question, is there significant difference in the level of social and entrepreneurial intention among different year level of university students? And we will answer the hypothesis, there's no significant difference in the level of social and entrepreneurial intention among different year level of university students. So, pero mas uh, madalas ginagamit yung Kuskal Wallis compared with John Keir Terpstra. And same with Kuskal Wallis, we will use uh, Bonferroni correction. And we will, if the p-value is significant, meaning point less, a grade less than 0 0.05, so it means we have to perform a multiple comparison or yung pairwise comparison using man with me you and we have to alter the p value na gagamitin natin to avoid uh, type 1 error dun sa results natin so when we say type 1 error ito yung false positive akala natin significant pero hindi pala in our case since we have uh, four year levels so for the groupings natin, sabi nga, we will get the comparison between first year and second year. Tapos first year, third year. Then first year, fourth year. Then second year, third year. Second year, fourth year. Third year, and fourth year. So these are our uh, groups or yung pairs natin. So ilan yan? Two, four, six. So going back to the level of significance, diba we will use 0 0.05. I divide nyo lang siya sa sabi natin 2, 4, 6, 6 kasi 6 comparisons tayo eh. So, 0 0.05 over 6 comparisons, 6 pairs, then we will use the alpha level of 0 0.008. So, from 0 0.05 para may iwasan natin ng type 1 error, gagamit tayo ng mas mababa na level of significance based on the bon Bonferroni correction. So, instead of uh, 0 0.05, we will use 0 0.008 for our, our alpha level. If the p-value is less than or equal or less than 0 0.008, it means we can identify kung saan may pagkakaiba. So, gagamitin natin yung pairwise comparison using man with me you pag ang lumabas sa p-value using the John Keir Terpstra is significant. Ibig sabihin, equal or less than 0 0.05. So, pag ganon, then we have to perform comparison using man with me you. And then we will use the alpha level of 0 0.008 para malaman kung saan may pagkakaiba dito sa mga comparison. Then, this is the command that we will use in our PSS for the John Keir Terpstra test. So, first is go to analyze, then non-parametric test, then go to legacy dialogues and look K independent samples. So let's uh, perform that in our SPSS. Okay. So ito na yung gagamitin natin na file for the John Keir Terpstra. So okay na to. Naayos na natin. May label na siya. So we can look the Variable view, and dito na label, nationality, sex, year level. So let's perform now the John Keir Terpstra test. So go to analyze, and then look for non-parametric test. Then locate legacy dialogues, and click K-independent samples. 
So, makikita nyo na dito, we have the Coastal Values. This is the default uh, measurement. So, palitan nyo lang yan. Unclick, unclick nyo to and then click jump here to extract. Then, for the test variable list, look for the overall name of our variable, which is the social entrepreneurial intention. So, para makuha itong overall mean, pwede nyo panoorin yung sa video tutorial ko for the descriptive statistics. Andun na rin siya. And then, for the grouping variable, since ko compare natin yung mga year level, kunin natin itong year level or yung sa YL. Then, put that into grouping variable. And then, we have to define the range. So, minimum natin, di ba, first year. So, lagay natin 1. Then, yung maximum natin ay 4th year. So, 4. Continue. And then, okay. Then, ito yung result ng sa John Kier Terpstra. Sa so, pinakita na rin niya yung sa Cruz Calwalis. Pero, dun tayo sa John Kier Terpstra. So, based on this table, so, kung mapapansin niyo medyo mas simple ang result ng non-parametric compare sa ANOVA. Kasi di pa meron kong video tutorial dun sa ANOVA na medyo mas maraming mga data ang pinapakita ng ANOVA. For the non-parametric, direct to the point din siya. So, kinandang natin yung sa asymptotic SIG. Ito. Yan, yung asymptotic SIG. Two-tailed. So, point zero 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 So, it means it is significant. So, since it is significant, the next thing that we have to do is to uh, conduct post hoc using man with new. Yung sa pairwise comparison using man with new. Para ma-check natin kung saan may pagkakaiba. So, between first year to second year ba, third year to fourth year. So, paano gagawin yun? So, punta ulit tayo sa analyze. Then, go to non-parametric tests. Legacy dialogues. Then, instead of k-independent sample, ang i-click natin yung two independent samples. Kasi gagamitin natin yung man with me you. So again, same what we did in John Kier Terpstra, look for the overall mean of SEI, then click this arrow para mapunta sa test variable list, and then yung year level, yung sa grouping variable natin, year level, and then, compare natin, define natin muna first year and second year. So, continue. Okay. Then, check natin. Tinan nyo kagad yung sa asymptotic sig niya. So, it is not significant. Wala sa first year and second year. Check natin yung sa susunod na pair natin. So, again, naturo ko na rin to yung sa recall button para hindi na tayo magpunta na analyze, then legacy dialogues. So, click nyo lang to yung recall button. And then, andun na yung mga previous na, na um, tests na ginawa natin. So, click nyo lang to independent sample tests. And then, ito na kagad sa define groups. So, gawin naman natin first year and third year. Continue. Okay. So, 0.283. Wala rin siyang significant. O, try natin yung isa pa. First year and fourth year naman. So, talaga mahanapin natin kung saan may pagkakaiba. 0.009. So, yun ay between uh, first year and fourth year. So, 0 0.009. Ay, hindi. Kasi 0 0.008 ang gagamitan natin. So, still it is not significant. Kasi nga, di ba, we perform Boncharoni correction. So, dapat the p-value must be lower than, equal or must be lower than 0 0.008. So, 0 0.009 hindi pa rin siya significant. Kaya, importante na you perform Boncharoni. Kasi kapag ganyan, baka maka-encounter tayo ng type 1 error. Akala natin significant. Pero hindi naman pala. So, hindi rin siya. It's a prank. Char, hindi. Kasi kailangan 0 0.008. So, wala sa first year. Ang gawin naman natin second year. Second year and third year. Hindi na pwede yung second year at first year kasi tapos na tayo doon, di ba? Redundant na siya. So, second year and third year. Click continue. Okay. 0 0.048. So, wala rin. Saan kaya? 
usually naman kapag significant yung sa junkier natin, merong lalabas kung saan talaga doon. Kaya huwag kayo mawawalan ng loob. Meron yan. Sa second year and fourth year naman, continue, then okay. Ah, oh, ito, di ba? 0.00. So saan nga siya? Between second year and fourth year. Doon may pagkakaiba. Pagating din sa level of social and entrepreneurial intention nila. So check natin baka meron pang iba. So to independent, punta ka agad dito sa define groups. Gawin naman natin last, yung last pair natin, which is third year, between third year and fourth year. Then continue. Okay. Ah, wala. So merong pagkakaiba between dito sa second year and fourth year kasi zero zero to, di ba? Sige, check natin. Okay, so for the interpretation, so based dun sa pairwise comparison using Man With Me You, merong pagkakaiba between second year and fourth year. So to reflect the data na nakuha natin from the SPSS, just indicate the value of the Man With Me You and then the Wilcoxon, then optional itong Z-score. And then of course, don't forget to include the P-value. Ayan. So, di ba nakuha natin 0.000? Or pwede nyo lagay na 0.00 na siya or uh, less than 0.001. So, Ruskal, ay, you can just ano to, uh, alternate or change from Ruskal Wallis to into Junkier Terpstra. So, di pala na bago to. So, Junkier Terpstra test using pairwise comparison was used to identify where the significant differences in social entrepreneurial intentions among university students when grouped according to year level. In order to ensure that the type 1 errors do not build up to more than 0.05, a correction using Bonferroni correction was established. So which is yun nga, yung 0.05 and then i-divide lang natin doon sa number of comparisons that we have. In our case, we have six comparisons. Then the findings reveal that there's a significant difference in SPI between second year and fourth year level students. And then you have to indicate what is the value for the man with you, the Wilcoxon, and then sabi ko nga optional ang Z-score and the, of course don't forget the P-value. Okay, so thank you for watching. That will be all for the John Kier Terpstrat test. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe for other video tutorials about the use of SPSS. Thank you.